today is a sad day. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't think I was ready. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be ready. I'm done. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Done. End of story. Goodbye. No, it's fine. It's fine. I can do it. We're we'll back. What a surprise, because uh, Act 2 of Arkane Season 2 just dropped. We watched it. We got traumatized. Uh, I think I can speak in uh, all of our names that we cried our eyes out. So, fun times. What a great show. <laughs> but we're back, and it's the usual team. We're back with Thomas. Howdy. And we also have Ian, who's the odd one out because he's not wearing wine. I don't have any white shirts, guys. It's so weird. <laughs> Sorry. Look, I have to make jokes and I have to make this as lighthearted as possible. Otherwise, we're just going to end up crying on this podcast episode. It's it's just going to happen. Uh, and soon you're all going to find out why. Uh, if you have seen the three episodes, you already know. But obviously, we're not going to go into full spoilers uh, straight away. Uh, first, let's hear the spoiler free thoughts so everyone is safe who hasn't seen it. Ian, let's start with you. Spoiler free. These episodes were fucking excellent. Now, I would normally say I loved these episodes, um, but I cannot say for that final episode of today that I loved it. I had the most visceral reaction to a to a TV show I have ever had in my life watching it, and that can only speak to the quality of what it makes you feel. It's three excellent episodes this week, but I can't tell you that I enjoyed them. Yep, understandable. Uh, Thomas, I thought they were great. They were, I think every episode was a was a banger. Um, it was a roller coaster of emotions because I kind of went from like. Yay, happy family. Oh. Hooray! Question mark? That was really good. Uh, a lot of theories that I had were completely and utterly wrong. Uh, just did, yeah. not, did not go anywhere. No. Um, <laughs> but there is there is something that is like brewing in the background and everything of what's going on. And I'm curious to see more. But overall, yeah, really, really like them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I use this moment. <laughs> To, to say it that I was right and then we're going to get into the spoilers and you're going to understand why I was right because yeah. I predicted something and I was right Nelly was right about one thing I very was... wrong on a few other things but yes yeah, but, he was right yeah, about yeah, one thing yes, yes. <laughs> I knew you are going to bring that up that I was wrong on some things but well, like just me. Uh, it's just me hold on hold on mm -hmm. this one I was right about is huge <clears throat> fair I was right about two things, by the way, but uh, yeah, but we're going to get into that in the spoiler territory. Mm -hmm. Altogether, first I started with, with like those happy kind of tears, or I don't know if we can call them happy, but like, yes, I think we can call them happy. And then, and then they, they turn into these very ugly, just vicious, disgusting, big ass fucking tears. And I was like, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I am completely traumatized. I don't know if it's in a good way. I, I don't think I processed it yet because I finished it the latest. So <laughs> it's... <laughs> uh, but also, I, I will have to take back one of my statements from last week where I said that I don't think that they will ever top uh the first three episodes of season one they just did so i will take that back and that's all i can say without spoilers to be mm -hmm. fair uh it's very big of you to admit that yeah yeah i i have to <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to do it because it's as like she, yeah as, as she's holding back tears and the mm -hmm. and just about to cry just like <clears throat> no don't cry admit i was wrong but keep going yeah, it's. It, it, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, so I might not end up crying on this episode, just so you all know who are watching us or listening to us. It's a very, very emotional three episodes, so I'm like, I don't know how well I will be able to handle it. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, but yes, so this is 
without spoilers and now it's your warning out there then now we're going to get into spoilers so if you haven't seen act two of arcane season two turn turn us off watch it and then come back and listen to us listen 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 to me cry <laughs> because i'm almost certain it's gonna happen <laughs> so come back for that um but anyway transition 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 <laughs> No, it's it's now sad. I can't do it because now it's sad. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> uh, 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 I can't f***ing do this anymore. That was seriously f***ed up. Yeah, that's it. that is sad. Oh, you, you can't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look the same with the shotgun no. uh, blast. It, it has no. to be the pistol blast, and that that's just. But it's it's not sad. sad. I'll, I'll, I'll try and sad. Try and do the hammer. <sighs> have to get into this. Uh, I think. I think. Uh, once again, let, yes, Tom. Yes. No, because now I spoil this. I, yes. uh, there is something that I have to admit, and I think you have to admit as well. I I am sorry, Ian, for saying that Caitlin oh. was going to go full Nazi Hitler and yes. she was going to die. Yes. She she wasn't. She didn't. And yeah. I apologize. Vindication. I'm sorry too. Thank you, guys. It's very big of you yet again to admit that you were wrong on this you occasion. Were? Um, yeah. I had full faith in Caitlyn of not going full Hitler. She wasn't the the most um, pious person in in the first couple of episodes, but she she has been turned around. Thank you very much, Caitlyn. Bye bye. Like I said, it would do last week. Thank you very much. She, she kind of like I'd say she's got to like almost a Mussolini level. Like she didn't like go the whole hog, but like she kind of she was sort of there. Mussolini then... is pretty bad still, though, Tom. I'm yeah, not going to lie. It's, 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 it's... Yeah, no, yeah, no I, that's why I'm saying she almost that level. Like, she didn't go full. Almost. That's everything. true. He said almost. I heard it, too. Because, okay. remember, she she, she she did allow for people to be captured and tortured for information and, beaten up and just stood there. But then, like, then she kind of stopped and came back. So she didn't get to she, that point. So she, she totally felt bad about it, though, because that was the first scene of the, this uh, fourth episode. The fourth episode. She's yeah. she a two time bitch as well, though. But they weren't exclusive and I had gone away. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, I have to agree with Tom. <laughs> what? I was like, the fuck are you well, doing? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I do agree that her, her soulmate is probably Vi and she was having a bit of Maddie on the side, but they'd broken up pretty much. They had a squad. They, they were on a break. Damn it, they were on a break. Don't start with the friends reference, okay? <laughs> we were on a break. We were on a break. <laughs> Stop it. They were not that was. <laughs> we no. <laughs> no. So let's start with Caitlin, I guess. Since we 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 are already talking about Caitlin. Um Yes, I also apologize. I although I would have found it really fun to see her go full hitler uh but i'm also glad that i was all right i guess fine but all together i i think she's pretty interesting in a way where she's a bit boring and i don't mean this in i, I try to be really nice about it like i think i said this last time as well she was the character that i cared the least about Mm. in the first season and then she got a bit more interesting in this second one but once again i'm finding myself being like maybe maybe something is fogged up in my head i don't know no. <laughs> she she went back too easily to be the, to, to to be one of the good guys and i'm like oh damn i mean <laughs> i don't my, know <laughs> that, um, if if i have any complaints about these th three uh, three episodes my one complaint would be that multiple reconciliations happened a little bit too quickly too yeah, for me. Yeah, I agree. It needed a little bit more time to breathe and, and a little bit more of conflict before those reconciliations happened. Having said that, I fucking loved it. Like, Vi and Caitlin belong together. We know you ship them. I ship them. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but you also ship Loki and Sylvie, so what are we expecting? <laughs> yeah, yeah your, your shipping opinions are invalid. Yeah. No. no. Shush. Shush. <laughs> that's the best you can do. Shush. That's the, that's the sound of a guilty man. Yeah. In the first season, 
sort of I sort of liked that storyline. So but but yes. You like the self incest, yes, we know. It was self love, mm -hmm. not incest, because they were... anyway we'll go Keep we'll... keep telling yourself that Ian, it's fine. <laughs> We know what Ian would do if he would. Caitlin and Ryan is a, a good ship. It's not. It's it's a fully standard ship. Shut up! Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Guys, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Okay, let's let's be nice. Let's be nice. That's you know. What Caitlin. else? Is, yes, Caitlin. What what else to say about Caitlin? That's that's the thing. Uh, that's my opinion on her. And I have to mention this because I forgot to mention the, the the previous episode that we did. That I still find it like so fascinating that Caitlin is voiced by Katie Leung, who played Cho Chang in in Harry Potter. And and when I first found that out, I was like, oh, I love that for her because she's honestly great. And she's doing such a great job. I just don't think I'm I'm fully on board with Caitlin still. But like that's that's a me problem at the end of the day. Um Ian, do you want to talk about Caitlin? I don't really. In the, uh, this uh, this episode, these episodes weren't really about Caitlin. I I like the, the, the track that she's she's on. She's getting away from um Mama Madada and Bessa. And Bessa, sorry. Uh, but she's learned a bit from her at the same time, so sort of, about the uh, art of war. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's not a lot really to say about these episodes aren't about Caitlin. I think what you said before is particularly true for Caitlin. This this all happened too fast. Like I I needed more of the Caitlin in her villain era shit, just a bit longer. But also structure wise. I kind of understand why it happened so fast. Conflicting, conflicting. Yeah. Tom, any thoughts on Caitlin? I agree that she wasn't really like the focal point of these apps, mm. but I'm I don't really subscribe to the idea that it happened too quickly, because whilst okay. yes, I would have I would have loved her to have her sort of her villain arc where she kind of descends into like madness and saying those people from the first scene that she's in episode four, mm. she's already questioning things. Like yeah, she'll go, she goes along with it, but like she's still like tossing her like. Um, should I just stop this? Is this going too far? Um, and it, yeah, Ambassador kind of pushes her towards like, now keep going. But she already had those doubts. Mm. And I think it all it took was Vi to be like, hey, my dad, uh, I'm trying to help. And then she she was already like maybe halfway there mm. when, she, when she realized what was happening. But also I do like how like in this these past six episodes, like it kind of shows like the, the whole like, uh, how she was sort of like a bit of a performative like friend of the of Zorn for a bit because like she was in a place of privilege and like everything's fine but then like when a parent dies which Vi and Jinx both had multiple parents die that's mm. when she like full crashes out and it's like oh bro bro must must martial law all this sort of shit and I just think I think that part of her character is interesting and to see it sort of like carry over a bit here in mm. these episodes as well I think was yeah I think it's a interesting conversation about class and shit. All right, uh, let's uh, talk about Ambessa then. Uh, I think be because if we if we get into Mai and Jinx, then we we're gonna get to the end too quickly. Uh, yes. So let's yes. let's talk about Ambessa because I think we got a comment that okay. we should look look into her more nuanced. I think that was, mm -hmm. that was because she's in these three episodes a lot more and uh, we get to see a lot more of her as well and find out some very interesting things so i think it's fair to say that let's talk about Ambessa and mel yeah simultaneously together. because we we're, we're finding out things we're finding out things guys uh so let's get into that and let's start with tom this time she's an interesting case because on one hand I, I, i'd like to see how she sort of like pushed caitlin down the path that she wanted to go, like Ambassa wanted to go down, like, you know, you know, you'd be more harsh, blah, blah, blah. And started like treating her a bit like a daughter towards the end as well. Like mm. training her to fight and giving her like all the, as you said, in like the lessons of war, I don't want sort of stuff. I'm, st I st I'm really still curious about like how her past and how she ended up pissing off the Rose people so much, but cause it seems like something really bad happened, which is sort of like, she would seem sorry. She was always like hardened, but I think she might've done something that kind of like fucked pissed people off and like turned her even more into like I'm a murder everyone who doesn't who gets in my way. 
You are all going to die tonight. And then, yeah, the metal thing is just a whole lot of kettlefish that's just like, so are you like another sort of space Jesus or something, magic Jesus? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, and I did think when she, because when she was like, transporting to like the flower room thing and saw a brother, I'm like, oh, the brother ain't real. The brother ain't Yeah, real. I think And that I was think, clear from the beginning. yeah, as he was teleporting around, it's just like, oh, okay, so this is just like, Weird, spooky ghost shit. Ambessa and Mel's story, particularly, I don't think will wrap up in the next three episodes. I think you maybe Mel gets out, but I think that's it's one of those plot threads that might continue going on in like different series because there's just there's too much that we don't know about that family and everything to really wrap up in three episodes where it's obvious it's going to be more to do with like Vi, Jinx, Jace, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think that's that's a fair assessment. Yeah, I've got a, a, a little maybe I told you so here on, on, on Mel. She's got space Jesus, Jesus powers. And I think that the reason that her and Jace Oh. were, not, were untouched by the shark missile is because space Jesus, Jesus powers protected them. The gold thingy magic on her neck. The gold thingy majiggy on her neck. Which it, at the very end of the last episode, they did start to glow slightly. I may be wrong. I may be reading too much into it, but I thought maybe, maybe space easy stuff. Maybe. No, I think I think you'd be right on that because if I looked back at the the end of season one, just like a few like scenes and clips and stuff, and as the resource coming, her gold thing does like kind of glow and alert her. So I reckon I reckon that's a decent chance that like Yeah. it saved the the person she cared the most for in that room, which was Jace and herself. Possible. I'm not like ruling that out now, especially with the revolution that happened here in these three episodes. So, who knows? So it's heavily implied that she is the daughter of Ambessa and weird, freaky Red Rose Yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Because Yeah. they said that they took I think it's pretty Keenan. clear that Yeah, she yeah, she she's is that kid. she's got she's got magical <laughs> powers. Like, yeah. I, I don't think Ambessa does. Um, so you must have got it from somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, so Kino's absolutely dead. Her brother. Uh, so is her best mate. Um, That's sad. That, That is sad. she, she didn't really do She anything seems so wrong. cheerful. Yeah. He was just there. So it'd be interesting to see what comes of this. It feels like it's a very short amount of time to do anything with Mel here. Having said that, Mel's story has propelled further than I thought it would have done in just one episode, um, which was when she was stuck in the the well thing. It Mm. sort of reminded me of the the prison that that Batman gets put in. You know, in the dark 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 rises. I think the prison ended up being like an illusion thing because once she It is, yeah. realized her brother was was fake, um, she meet, they mean like, all right, no, nah, screw this illusion thing. Now you can be like tied up and stuff. Yeah. And that's when she went like, blah. True, 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 true. I think she was tied up all along, just between the roses. I mean, I think she's definitely going to have a bigger role in the last three episodes. I think that's clear. What I agree with is that uh, I don't think we're going to get a closure on her story. Yeah, that's, I think that's that would be weird. Uh, it's not enough time <laughs> uh, to do it in just three episodes. But I, I do think that uh, uh, we're going to see more of her and... I think she's going to have a bigger role in the end. Yeah, I, I think it's it's very intriguing and interesting to see like even more magic and and different uh kind of magic uh through them. It's it's also very uh intriguing like Ambassa is just like, you know, like I feel like she's the kind of character and Caitlyn says so as well that uh uh you know she truly believes that in order to get peace you have to fight it a war and it's it's just not that's that's the idea that we all humankind should finally get <laughs> out of our head that's that's not how you do it that's not how you get to peace uh but i think she's been fighting and uh raging wars for so long that she can't take any in 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 any other way i mean throughout these three episodes uh all she was doing behind the scenes is 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 trying to find an ultimate weapons and the best scientists and and inventions to get rid of uh you know all the people she doesn't deem to be worthy of life basically so she's she's pretty fucked up i think that's safe to say 
she's yeah. she's pretty fucked up. But that's why I'm curious to like find out what made her so fucked up. Because I've like like I said, I feel like she always was like a bit of a warmonger. Mm. But like to go this far to do to do everything she's done, it's like okay, who did you piss off? Who did they kill besides probably the um the son? Like just why? Yeah, yeah. He's scared I'd... right now. Like I, I'm. I, th- I think in terms of um ambassador, I think if we look deeper. She she had this fling with some sort of supernatural being that made a daughter, mm. <clears throat> and she's been on the run since and trying to get more powerful and more powerful to keep their 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 her her daughter away from the father because the father must be fucked up as well. To be fair. That's what I, I read on it anyway. It, yeah. If we are to to believe that Ambassador is more than just a warmongering um, bitch, then she, you could say that her intentions have been family, like Fast and Furious. I don't have friends. I got family. Really? <laughs> yeah, to put Fast and Furious in here again? Again. Yeah, fam- family. It did, um, it, yeah. And just protecting her family, so getting is, more powerful to try and fight off. Does she just need a car with a bunch of nos in it to be like? Shrr. Yeah, sure. But here's the thing that I want to point out, and I think I don't know if you guys noticed it. What if not? I'm so smart. Uh, Van Kino mentions uh, that there was a child. There's a specific shot where Mel grabs her tummy. Yeah, I, I think there's a very high chance that uh, there's going to be a J Smell baby coming along the way. I think that there was a huge implication there that they made sure that that shot is, is there of her going like, baby, touchy, baby. touchy, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Maybe, baby. I see. I see Maybe, what baby. you're doing. I see what you're doing. There. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. That's fun to say. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this. I think I'm going to make another assumption that might prove to be completely wrong uh, for Act 3. But now I I, I fully believe that uh, Ambassa is going to be a goner by the end of this season. I That's hope just. So. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I fucking yeah. hope so. Like... Yeah. Yeah. That's just my prediction. It's 50 50. Either she dies because, like, jinx or whatever, like, it goes exploding. Something, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, she'll have, like, a fight with Caitlyn and they'll, like, she'll fight, 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 fight. And then she'll be like, oh, my daughter. And then Caitlyn will, like, I guess, talk her out of it and be like, no, we can help, and whatever. And then, like, that that's less likely. But I think it just depends on who she fights last. Mm. I think she'll fight Vi. And I think Vi won't kill her. Um, but then just depends. if she if she fights Jinx, then she dead. If she fights Caitlyn, there's a ch- better chance she survives. Jinx loses every fight that she's in. Not... Te- oh no, she won one this ep. Did she? she? Yeah, the one second fight. Which 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 fight? They're, which they were one? in the caverns. Ca- they were in the caverns, and Vi's like, "You wouldn't last one second in a fight," and she just slaps Vi and goes, "There, yeah, one yeah, second." Yeah, just a slap. You think I need these to? <gasps> There. One second. A slap doesn't count as a fight. My b- no, but bitch slapped her to death uh, before, before like elbowing Isha in the face. It, 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 she, she, she literally she loses every big fight that she's ever been in. Look, I, I have to, I have to be an a hole here and bring in that if the, if the witch's road existed because of fucking song, <laughs> <laughs> then Tom is fucking right <laughs> that that Jinx won the fight. <laughs> It was two separate fights. The yeah, one there you go. And the, and the fight where she lost. There you so, go. Mal and Ambessa, done. We can't, we, we have to get into the heavy stuff, I feel. Do you want to start with Jason Victor first before you dive into Vi and Jinx and everyone else? Which one is less traumatizing, really? I, I, I feel like Jason Victor less so. Maybe for you. Maybe yeah, for you. Enough. I lost my sad boy. We didn't want to fuck the fucking dude who was like half machine, half whatever the fuck. Shimmer Jesus. We 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 agreed on Shimmer Jesus. Shimmer Jesus. But isn't he? Isn't he? He was like Shimmer God. It's not. He was like 
God, like, yeah. Yeah, like he the was Herald. Like, he was yeah. the Herald. That's a prophet, right? Jesus yeah. is a prophet, I guess. Yeah. It, it depending on your religion. Yeah. I think Shimmer Jesus is just better. Fair. Sounds better. Okay. Yes, Jason Shimmer Jesus. <sighs> Fine. Good. I'm so sad. Like, I, I, I have to start like this, that I am very upset with what they did to my sad boy. First of all, beautiful. That long hair. Mm. And that let me, let me guess that robe was leaving, leaving nothing to the imagination. I'm gonna have a good night anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I told you I have to break it up in jokes, otherwise I'm gonna cry. Fucking <laughs> horn dog. I am. I won't. I won't deny it. But anyway, uh, I know, like you know, because I was angry. I said that Jace was a fucking asshole, but also it is heavily implied that it's it's not Jace but it's another ancient being uh taking him basically over and mm. and he there is very much implication that he is trying to to fight because jace is still in there and and he knows that he's about to kill his friend but it, it was just you know i i really told i and i think this might be my very tiny nitpick with the whole thing uh regarding these three episodes that i do feel like that uh victor's storyline lasted v way shorter than i expected it to last for and i i think it's kind it's it's a little bit of a shame that they just went yeah victor is like gone done end of story and he was helping people like i think we can say that that it's that he he was actually ha helping people and and what we saw that was a utopia that I think uh, everyone was was dreaming about in the in the undercity that they can just leave in peace and and be fine and whatever. So yeah, I I think that's that's my only thing with these three episodes where I feel like that maybe a bit more Victor. I would like to like to counter that because I think whilst Victor may have been thinking he's doing good and on the surface looked good, I think there was something more sinister like behind the scenes that maybe he wasn't even aware of because. Like, yeah, but know, that's like, not cause... clear. I think. Yeah, that's why. I th that's why I'm like I'm not sure. Um, mm. because and like I don't fully blame Jace, because like when he Victor kind of gets you know exploded, everyone sort of just goes mental. But like and then like God. well that's just like okay so, is was he actually healing or was he sort of taking control, like unintentionally? I, I don't. I didn't uh, see that as that. I I think he literally gave a piece of his soul to these people. But if... then he made his his soul, his whole body is combined with the hex core. So it, again, it's not Victor maybe being the evil bad dude, but like the hex core, like influencing people. Maybe because like everyone he he healed, with the exception of one person who we'll get to later, they all kind of like changed personality wise, like completely. Like even be from what like. <laughs> Uh, we've, we've seen before they got like the shimmer mm. jesus infection whatever i i don't agree with that argument because i i think especially when it comes to like very religious things whatever these miracles things happen people just you know suddenly their fate changes and everything changes so i kind of see it like that like it was forming into a kind of like a cult in a way uh yeah uh, so, but I, I saw it like that. I didn't see it, their personality change. I didn't see it as a as a side effect of them being killed by Victor, if that makes sense. It was more of a like, <gasps> he saved us. Stop. Ray, when someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes. I mean, to think My... about it though, as well, like if you're in pain and they were in pain, especially Counselor Salo, Salo. Yeah. Yeah. Was, he was Oodles really of pain. Yeah. You've got this guy who, who heals you and so you can walk again. Mm. Like you're going to go from no pain guy to bliss guy. Yeah. Your, your personality is going to change no matter what, no matter if you've got something, some part of victory in your, in your soul or not. It, it's, You've seen the, those episodes of House where he becomes on the drugs and can't yeah, feel yeah, yeah. any pain. He, he, yeah. He's a different person. Yeah. I was just saying, because I'm talking about Salary and then also moving into Jace's role in this. Um, I remember, I like to see, like, because this all kind of like when Jace said, is Salo still in there? When Victor takes over him and, like, starts talking to Jace, Jace is like, oh, wait. So I think Jace knows something and he probably no assumes, or no, assumes, like, is guessing that 
what Victor is doing is fucking with them in some way. Because Jace has seen something. He's seen either what it does, the future, something to do with arcane magic, whatever. So I think, boss, yes, there probably is like an additional force at play inside Jace's head. I also think he's just seen some shit and he knows how it's going to go. And that's why, like, you know, as Salas walking, I was like, he's like, I can't let you leave and just fucking just go smack. Which that caught me off guard. That was same. Hmm. It's just like Jesus. But yeah, so that's Another why, like, pretty I'm... boy gone. I'm sorry. Salas? <laughs> yeah. I have a type, he was, okay? <laughs> he wasn't pretty. He wasn't pretty boy. He was I, a pretty I would, boy. I would, he was, I would disagree. He was, he was a pretty boy. I like the ice I, and everything. I think because I was, I'd say, I think Jace is like a better pretty boy than. Blah. Not Blah. anymore. <laughs> no, he, he looks. He looks. He looks better now with the beard and everything. Okay. But... No, you're just confusing the shit out of me. Looks I'm, like no, a I'm sorry. Hobo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Look, it's, it's Classical weird. Classical handsome a woman. dude. Ew. Hobo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck but, yeah. But uh, like, I, I'm interested to see, like, to see like, what he went through in next week. So also, we don't know where Echo or Harmon Digger are. That's why like, I, I, I was... I love Echo, okay? So mm. I'm like, the fuck? And now we're going to find out where, where they are. So that's why, like, until they come back as well, mm. I don't, I, I, we don't have the full picture. So I kind of think that whilst there might be an influence on Jace, I think it was mostly him who took the shot. Mm. I think he, he hesitated, I think he was hesitating and struggling just to, like, do, force himself to do it. But I think it was his conscious decision. I think he's seen some shit. And he's seen that, like, if Victor keeps doing what he, he's doing... Mm. Something bad happens. Like, ah, I don't want to. I don't want to. But I gotta. Because maybe like it happened. Something happened to Hyman Digger or Echo in where they were. So he's like, I can't fail at this again. I because he kept saying, I won't fail. I will. I will do my complete my mission. Um. So that's why I'm like. Mm, so maybe like Victor's death like had to happen. Then again, Victor also might not be dead because of all the Shimmer Jesus stuff. It could be like a uh, lol psych. I'm not mm. actually dead. I'm just now an ethereal god. It seemed pretty uh, final. Yeah, unfortunately. We can't put it off anymore, guys. I we know. have to go into Jinx Vi. Beast. Hold on. Let me do my celebration. Mm -hmm. Because go for it. I was fucking correct. You Just were. Can be, can be admitted. What, what were you right about again? I'm pretty sure she's talking about Van Vanda being the beast. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I told you so. Mm -hmm. I waited to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last episode I was like, I'm going to say it now. I told you so. I'm so smart. Uh, so smart, so clever. I'm very proud of myself because I usually, like, I am very bad at guessing things when it comes to TV shows and whatnot. Like, uh, I, I often uh, fall into, uh, you know, my own imagination and I want to see the good things and whatnot and I can really catch on uh on very obvious things. So I am when when I get something right, I'm very I'm very proud of myself. Thank you. I it's the first time for everything. Yeah. I mean it happened before, but I am now very very happy with this because I don't think uh, <laughs> any 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 of you would have guessed that it's it's gonna be him. Let's talk about why Jinx, Wendell and Isha. Mm -hmm. Which I again I I well, sad. I think. I think until I see a body. No, she's gone. I've I've been I've been duped by too many things before in in American animation, in TV, in anime, in movies. I've been duped too many fucking times. Until I see a goddamn body, I don't. I I, I think there's a chance because she could have teleported because because it's she had the three of the hex core thingies and only one can like send you like to like a fucking another dimension. There's every chance. That it went explodey, and like the immediate vicinity just kind of went from here to here. We don't know. Does that if they get teleported? Does it mean Vanda just kills the kid anyway? Who knows? But I think there's a there's there's a possibility. Right, we're here. I mean, there's lots of build up to this, but we're here. So oh, yeah, let's talk about it. Isha is dead. The the way that they framed this, and with the 
really emotional song, which I have no idea what language it was in. I have no idea who sang it, but that theme that played whilst she was running to to sacrifice herself in front of Vanda's beast form. Oh my God, did that get me. It, it, it absolutely broke me. The whole thing broke me to to death. I I have never screamed at, at, at the TV before when this sort of thing happens. And I was like, no, no, you fucking don't. Do not, no, no, you can't do this. You cannot do this to the kid. You cannot do this to the kid. Fuck. But with lots more visceral crying on my hands. Mm. It sounds like you're gonna start crying again. I, yeah, I'm really close, guys. I'm really close. I understand. It's it was it was traumatic in in lots of ways because in these first six episodes of season two, you you, you learn that this kid, a heart of fucking gold kid that doesn't speak a fucking word from the f first minute of the first episode. To the point where she tips a hat, put, does a finger gun to her best mate in Jinx, and then explodes herself to to save everybody. I I cannot believe how well they have made such a random kid in this universe who I'm assuming doesn't exist in the League of Legends universe. Uh -huh. How they've made me care about that kid, I. I cannot understand it this is why it's been such an excellent for three episodes but i cannot say that i enjoyed it because this is happening <laughs> this <laughs> fucking face is happening i can i can hear the shape I, in your yeah, voice yeah <laughs> but it's, it's fine over. <laughs> it's it's just excellent storytelling it shows like you know uh, getting a new character in anything is is always risky and then getting one that you get attached to and then yeah it's if if it's done right it's it's literally a killer uh, uh so yeah yeah i i, I fully understand uh i i there are no words how brilliantly they they made the entire ending shot basically um especially as you realize what she's planning to do uh and uh and then when she starts to do it you're like you're like you're like jinx in that moment i think and if you weren't you don't have a heart i'm just gonna put it out there uh but also i'm gonna make it worse um because there's a parallel um uh, in episode four it was jinx uh fighting the beast and uh isha being dragged away and uh in here in episode six it was isha uh sacrificing herself and jinx being pulled away by why it's the same fucking thing it was beautifully shot mm. different different animation style again for the flashbacks that that isha's seeing so in her good. head so, so good. good so childlike that's what mm -hmm. I like the most. It's it's beautifully well thought out. She is has been the MVP since she was introduced. Mm. <laughs> She's even been trying to uh, get Jinx out of her shell and taking leadership of Zorn by pretending to be her. And it's the only way that she she could she could have got Jinx out out and into Zorn leadership is to pretend to be her. Now now Jinx is a fucking folk hero. And it's and a lot of that is because of Isha. Thomas, do you want to save us from the tears, or are you going to cry as well? <laughs> Admittedly, I I want I kind of always expected the kid to die, so to see the kid die, I was like, okay, well, it was going to happen sooner rather than later, or at some point. Um, when she took the different like hex core things out of Vice Gauntlets and whatever, I'm like, okay, so something's going to happen with them. Something there's going to be an explosion or whatever, um, and maybe it's because I've. I have seen a few other series where like kids die in really emotional ways. So I'm like, okay, it is it, sad, but I didn't, I didn't break down crying or have such that sort of visceral reaction. I was like, oh shit, you're doing this. I have you no heart? No, I have no heart. I feel no love, no fear, no joy, no sorrow. 
god damn. Um, but it was still, it still took me, took me by surprise. So like, okay, you're just going to blow up a kid. But that's why I, I, maybe it is a bit of coping, but I, yeah, I don't, I don't think she's dead. If they start next, if she doesn't show up at all, and she's mentioned like, she dead, it's like, okay, fair enough, she dead. I don't know, because like, also at the start of episode four, this is where it's sort of like, maybe the scientist touches like the hex core thingy and just sort of like disappears and he shadows on the wall. If that proved to be like he was vaporized, fair play, she dead. But like, if that guy shows up at all in any capacity, there's a chance she's not dead because teleportation. I don't think they're going to play that card because I, I think what they've been very consistent about uh, with Arkane is that uh, here things are kind of final in a way. Uh, so I don't know. I would, I think, I, I think it would take away a lot from what we got now. Yeah. Like as much as it was very painful and heartbreaking, but uh, yeah, if uh, it's the same thing as I said with uh, Agatha all along, that uh, if they would have brought back any of the characters who deceased, uh, yeah, no, not the same. Same here. I think it's the right. same here. Uh, but who knows? Again, I think at this point, it's it's fair to say that uh, the way the magic works here is still so like. Ooh, what's happening it's kind like, of thing that, that who knows that's why because we because we don't know how everything works like there's every chance that and that's why I, i'm saying like but... yeah but i i would i would also put it out there in the universe that i don't i don't think i would appreciate that it would do a massive disservice yeah that moment would be a massive disservice if she had just ends up being fine somewhere do you want to google if if uh if she was just created for the show because I think if she was created for the show, then it's pretty much uh, a circle case where she's a goner. Well, to be fair, if you want to make it extra sad, she could teleport her, survive, Jinx finds her, but then she's on the brink of death and dies in Jinx's arms. You're wrong. How could you even say that? Isha is an original character created for Arcane. Okay, you know, then she's fine. She's dead. dead. <laughs> she's not right then. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we can safely say that. Done. You want to move on to Jinx and Vi now? Cause... Yeah, I start with Jinx because uh, that's that's where the episode 4 starts as well. I I, I will go first and, and say that it was very interesting to see uh, how she just decided not to do anything after all that happened. I was a bit surprised by it, a bit baffled, I would say, at the beginning. I was like, why like you know if it because it kind of felt like in especially in episode three that uh she was on board again and then we get into episode four and and she's oh no i'm not gonna do this uh anymore and you know i'm not a symbol and not blah, blah blah so i was a bit confused but i i think what they did very well uh with her storyline is that one tiny scene uh where she goes back to silko's office and uh you know still uh talks to him and says that uh, she finally has a friend and i think that made it like pretty clear and so much for more meaningful as well but i was like ah you're pulling that card okay gotcha and i think that's why because uh, also i was right about being a time jump because i think it's pretty clear that at least a few months have passed or i think it's implied I mean, maybe in episode four yeah. uh yeah. that that at least a few months have passed but i think it's pretty clear that there's going to be another one uh in the next three because we still haven't uh gotten uh the short hair jinx uh which her hair is also a tribute to uh to Isha, uh, that shot with the dinosaur hoodie on and, and the short hair. So I, I think the next three is, are also going to be time jumpy episodes. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, I think this whole uh, losing Wander again after just getting him back um, and then uh, and then also Isha as well, who became like kind of like a younger sister to Jinx uh i think this this is her breaking point like i think this is where we gonna truly get the jinx that is well known from the games i guess 
which I don't know anything about, but I, I know that she is a persistent character and she's always there and she's like full on gone. So, yeah. With how she was in the beginning, I think it makes sense if you think about how at the end of episode three, she kind of made her own tomb. Like she, her plan was to die. She wanted her to die. She wanted Vi to die. Mm. And like she wanted to, because like she had her life on all the pillars and like just an altar. And she's like, I'm glad it's you. So I think at that point, Jinx just wanted to die and take any yeah. remnant of her family with her. But mm. then because Isha showed up and like you could see them in those their eyes like, oh shit. I think Isha basically stopped her of convincing mm. her, but hey, maybe I shouldn't unalive myself. Mm, mm. So I think that's why she even said Jinx is dead. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand why she was like where she was. And the only reason she kind of got out of that rut was because Isha was in danger. It's like, oh, wait, no, I got to save the kid. And then the prison stuff happens. And it's like the whole, that's when she realized she could help more people like Isha. That um, oh that scene sorry uh, to cut you off but that scene that was the first time I cried oh, when as they were as they were was... touching her shoulder and hand and I was like fuck you <laughs> just <laughs> tears beautiful such a beautiful scine such a beautiful scene honestly but go on top acceptance yeah, say... sorry except yeah. acceptance for who she was yeah she, she hadn't had it it was time. so so meaningful I was I was crying like a baby it's, it's weird because like that that one's really emotional but then like five five minutes before when she's like walking to the guys like i'm jinx no you're not and yeah, like the that was did not believe it's like you're half in circus pants and then Savik's just like bang she's like what's wrong with my pants what's wrong with my pants you look like a half-eaten circus tent <laughs> and she seems yeah. really offended that they just understandably don't. so those it's are like, cool pants yeah um and then if also like um, when Ambassador walked out, when the, she was like trying, they were the infiltrating, just like the side eye, and like she's like, "Do you know who I am? Do I have to kill you?" Mm. I like that, that sort of. Yeah. Which that's why I think like if they have a fight in the next three episodes, Ambassador dead, dead. But then yeah, that fight with Jinx and the Vander Wolf dude in the hallway, that was mm. sick. Oh, so good. I I forgot Jinx can do like the whole like super fasty like blinky like dodgy shit. That was yeah. cool. But she lost. Yeah. To a wolf, well, big wolf, but she, she I was gonna say, wolf. well, hey, she still has one win under her belt, so it's fine, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we agree. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, okay, good. You don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't think her and Vi's sort of like reconciliation wasn't quick because it was fine. Well, well, it was fine. I because I liked how they actually had a chance to fucking talk, yeah, without someone coming in between. Like, because in I think in episode in season one. Caitlin would show up right when Vi's like get into mm. powder. Yeah. It's like Caitlin, fuck off. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad they finally had a chance to like when they can probably talk without anyone like jumping in between, Vi can get through to Jinx. Mm. Or Jinx and vice versa. And I really I really like that, especially like in episode six, where like Vi's like, Oh, maybe we should stay together or what what do you think mm. our plan should be? And Jinx is like, Oh, you're talking we, we our again. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I liked I like seeing that and that that's where I was like, oh happy family times. No, because I... it was it was very good because it really gave them time to first of all to why to actually understand her sister and listen to her. I think that was very important and it was beautifully represented and done. So I, I didn't feel like their relationship especially was rushed throughout these three episodes. It just made sense because at the end of the day, they are still sisters. And they they still went through a lot of shit together. So, you know, uh, I I think it's very understandable that why isn't just immediately killing her own sister, but being like, okay, fine, I guess I can listen. Oh, wait, I'm listening now. Oh, wait, I think I understand you more. Which is, it was which is, very well done. Part of the reason why I don't think Jinx is going to, like, I don't think Jinx and Vi are going to be, like, proper enemies ever again. No, no, no. I think I, I think they think might. So I, I think they might fight, but I think no matter what Jinx does, no matter what Vi does, I think they haven't seen like, okay, we're not going to kill each other. Like we might, you know, slap each other around a bit, but I don't. I don't like, think uh, because I uh, the only thing I know about the games is that they are supposedly enemies uh, in there. I don't. I have a feeling that they're not going to do that with the series. Same. Yeah, it, the way they've set it up, and it's like 
if it ended up being Jinx and Vi back to being enemies, they'd have to pull it out of their ass. Because mm-hmm. I, I don't think Vi would rush back to Caitlyn no. and like believe. No. Like she might be like, I still love you, but like I'm not going to, you know, be an yeah. enforcer again or anything. So I don't think, yeah, if they want right. to make them enemies again, it has to be like an ass pull. Well, why do, we'll just... why do we think that um that Piltover and Zorn are going to be enemies? Like I, I know that they have been, but now they've got a common em- enemy in um, Bessa. Is it team up time? I think it might be a team up time, but then I think the resulting fallout of it will just push them back to being enemies Maybe. again. Maybe even more so because it's like, hey, you helped us out and we got a bit better, but then you want to go how it was? No, get stuffed. It's very interesting. That's that's for sure, Ian. Um, the the first thing first thing that got me a little bit, which was it was in the tunnels, um, was them finding uh, Vanders and Silco's hideout oh, yeah. and reading that letter, and then having the flashback to Silco and Vander at the bar with Vi and Jinx's mother. Mom. Yeah, yeah, and and their two their two dads, like Silco, was mm. always meant to be one of the one of their dads mm. so it, it made me like oh actually J- jinx was with the one of the people that yeah she yeah, yeah, yeah. was meant to be with yeah um it's unfortunate that that uh, their two dads fell out even though Zander, vander wanted to to reconcile afterwards it, it made me it made me a little little bit emotion emotional not as much as later on but yeah it, it was like oh that's cute oh i cried on in Admittedly, I was like tears instantly because, as they say it as well, if Silco would have gotten that letter, I think their entire story would have been very differently as well. So yeah. they they put here another what if. Yeah, they did, and it's a heartbreaking what if. But if that's we just like, get, like that's just every, this series is just a big, the worst case scenario happened if literally anything went differently, like one thing. Yeah, like. It, they if Jinx would be... have stayed home, or Powder, yeah. sorry, yeah. at that point, for yeah. example. Yeah, if Powder stayed home, if Vanda and Silco reconciled, if yeah. all this sort of stuff. Um, it's, yeah, I, I enjoy that aspect where it's just like, all it takes is one thing to be different. And mm. yeah. Let's talk about why. Yeah, you, you you start because yeah, we've been start. talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Everything's in the context of their family in Favai, really. They, she was in a dark depression. She was beating the shit out of everything because that's what Vi does. She likes mm. to throw hands. Um, I'm sure she's broken that guy's jaw about 12 times. Probably, that, yeah. That same guy. Uh, he must be like, well, not her again. Come on. She may have dyed her <laughs> hair, but I still recognize her. But then everything else is it within the context of the Jinx Vi Vander relationship, and uh, Vi softening slightly to to Jinx when she mm. realizes that after seeing Jinx with Isha and how nurturing she is with her um, adoptive sister, let's call mm. it. Vi can see she's not all bad. She's she's still still cares about people yeah. she's savable even when uh vi's uh fighting vanda beast form mm. and jinx saying don't hurt him which is believe which is... me it's really him because that's what she's saying and, and then, that's a big leap yeah. of faith for for vi. really is. um not trusted jinx for a long time mm-hmm. not called the jinx for a, for a bit not called the powder for a bit powder, so. yeah. but then it, it's all about vanda uh, and how he's brought them together in a, in a weird way. Some absolute bullshit has happened to Vanda, but it, if Vanda hadn't been saved by, by Singed, I don't know if this family would have come together. Mm, no, probably not. Yeah. That's why I don't think that they're going to pull, uh, you know, the same ending for them as, as they are in the games. After all this, it would be blah, stupid. Let's be they, fair. They have, they have to do they have to do like major like gymnastics in plot mm-hmm. to get them back to like bits yeah, of enemies. No. no. I don't I don't I honestly don't think that they're gonna do that. And I would hate to see, you know, an an ending like that for them, uh, after all this. It just wouldn't make sense in my book. I mm-hmm. think I think I would I would probably say that they kinda ruined their whole show. 
with her, if if they would pull that card, uh, but I don't think they will. I, I think they've proven uh, how smart they are about everything uh, with this show. So, yeah, I would be just surprised if it would happen. I will say, I, I did laugh at, like, Vi's introduction in episode five where she's, like, being, when she's being pale, like, she's just crashing out hard. Mm -hmm. Like, and, like, the S.H.I.E.L.D. bro friend, I like how he's just like, oh, yeah, I'll help you, we'll drink. And then, like, just as Vi gets progressively, progressively worse and, and like, just spiraling, he's just like, eh, nah, get fucked. I don't think we'll see him again. But no, I I did laugh at just like <laughs> how fast everything was going. I I enjoyed how Vi sort of yeah, as you already said, Ian, start to trust Jinx again, and have already said how like she sees them as proper sisters again. I'm curious to see if she like has any more growth because it seems at this point Vi is like at a point where most things are now like fixed in her head. Besides like the whole Caitlyn thing and need to get Jinx back to powder, for the most part, I don't see how much more she can grow. I think she's at the point where she rather she would rather accept uh, Jinx as she is uh, than to try to change her again. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a question for her of like, you know, do I have to make a choice between Caitlyn and Jinx? Because I think at this point it's very clear that she she she's going to choose Jinx, her sister. With growth, I think it's uh, it's all in the you know the three things. She learned and uh, told yeah. Ambassador. It's it's like learning to be more patient, which she uh, struggles with uh, a little bit. I think that's going to be maybe another thing for her uh, for the last three episodes. Uh, it may it may have more importance. Even I agree with everything you, you both said. Oh my, that um, she's just badass at the end of the day. And uh, she still, despite everything she's been through, she still has a heart of gold at the end of the day, uh, which is which is nice to see in this very fogged off world that they they are living in. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. <laughs> it is. It is. I don't. I the only thing that I am still not sure about is, you know, we know that they're gonna close off Jinx and Vi's story. Okay, fair, mm. but like. The question for me is more like uh, how, I guess, like yeah. not in a way it's is like are they going to turn into enemies again or or but it's it's like how are they going to get away from this in order to explain why they are not present in later shows that are going to come out if you know what I mean. Teleported into the arcane. What you talking about? <laughs> Again, you're obsessed with teleporting. Why are you, why are you no, on teleport no, no, This this is different because like the, the they get they get in contact with the wild rune, not just the normal stuff. So they have what happened to the Jace happens to them. There's more cities in the world of League of Legends than I'm 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 certain than Piltover and so on. They'll just go somewhere else. That's probably more likely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's my guess as well. Like uh, they, they probably end up going somewhere else. But uh, yeah, it's it's not clear. It's so not clear. Like how how they gonna explain why they are not gonna be present later on? Because I think we can say with a hundred percent certainty that they're not gonna die at the end. Uh, there's a part of me that in the back has like telling me saying like, oh, one of them might die. Mm. There's a there's a part like I don't believe it, but there's a part that's like it's one could die i, I think I they've done that 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 they've killed two of their family well they've killed one of the family they they we don't know how vanda's like super healing might might affect be affected from massive explosion but he could be survived but vanda's not going to survive the whole show the only reason i think someone might die is because like in the intro um as i saw that some point out that um, it's all a lot, a lot of reference to like old Shakespearean like plays mm. and just plays yeah, yeah, yeah. like how Caitlin is like Macbeth and mm. uh, Jinx is Les Mis and like the thing is what all the the references had in common was that the main characters all die in all those things so it's like maybe that that's why I'm just like I don't want it to happen I don't think it will happen but there's just that possibility I don't know. I just don't think that, you know, they spend all this time on building them up again and then them being like resistance characters uh, in, in the games as well and then just kill one of them or both of them or whatever. 
because they want they want to make you cry more. Specifically Let you. them, let, let them fuck them. How <laughs> Specifically That's you and Ian. They want yeah. you to cry tears of, of, of sadness. I honestly Me? don't know if I can handle it. No, I don't think I can either. <laughs> if Jace goes, fuck, fuck Jace. I don't care. I the, the you can't kill one of the sisters. You can't kill one of the sisters. I can I can even cope with Caitlyn dying. I don't want her to die, but I can cope with it. Mm. But if you mess with that family, I'm gonna mess with you. Riot Games. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. big words so that I usually say, but also true. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think they're gonna die. I think that's gonna be another explanation of like what's gonna happen to them. But it's all gonna be dying. Let's rate the three episodes down. I don't know how to transition, so just. <laughs> Three episodes, Act Two, Tom. Honestly, ten. I loved everything about him. I loved the fight scene because they looked cool as shit. Mm. Uh, Vi and Jinx reconciling and you know becoming better <laughs> sisters again. Um, the Vander Wolf stuff. I still don't understand how you turn a dude into a wolf monster, but you know, magic it science, I guess. Mm. Um, but like my only like, I I wish there was Echo and Hyman Digger because mm. yeah, where those two, they're funny. Um, but yeah, like I had little to no complaints about it, so yeah, I'd 10. Ian? 10. You can't get that sort of reaction out of me and not be a 10. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Fair. You get that sort of reaction, you made me care about the characters. Mm. I'm just a 10. Like, everything about it has been excellent, not enjoyable, excellent. <laughs> yeah, 10. 10. If if the first uh, three episodes of season one were were a ten, then this might even be not even a ten. It's 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 a uh, it's an eleven. I don't know. It's it's honestly this is peak TV and storytelling and character building and and everything. Like th this is how you do it. At the end of the day, like this is. Uh, I, I I I talked about this like uh, it already happened once this year where I just had like two months where I couldn't really care about any new thing coming out. I I couldn't really watch anything new, uh, and it it's it's you know admittedly it's happening again unfortunately this year. But uh, I think uh, Arcane just uh, proved it to me once again why uh, TV. Uh, is great and why uh, it is you know there are still really good tv shows out there thankfully uh, and this is definitely one of them uh, so yeah he's a peasy lemon squeezy Ten perfect three episodes uh, it will be very interesting to see how the last three will end uh, i think time jump again is a guarantee it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a sad day either way because uh, I think easily one of the best animated shows out there is coming to an end in a way. We know that there's going to be more arcane coming, but you know, with different characters and whatnot. But still, yeah, the first one is always very special. Let's be fair. Uh, don't take this out of context. Also, it's true. But uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I had to. Um, so yeah, but we we're, we're gonna be back. Uh, next week to to talk about the last three, uh, obviously, because that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. And uh, until then, uh, don't forget to subscribe to, to the channel. Tell us your thoughts in the comments about Arcane Season 2 Act 2. Um, and, you know, uh, go to castle.com, become a member, uh, become part of this bunch of weirdos uh, that exist here. We are lovely. Uh, read our articles because we are fun. And uh, yeah, just be around. Just be part of the conversation. And um, this was Ian. Hello. Oh, wait. Bye. That's it. Uh, God Thomas. Damn it. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Why are we doing buys? I don't know. And, and me. <laughs> Lily K. I don't think I introduced myself at the beginning, you by the way. But we yeah, did it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm living cake, by the way. So, yeah, there you go. We're going to be back next week. Last three episodes coming on. It's going to be heartbreaking if, if I can have any predictions for the future. It's going to be heartbreaking. So be prepared. Until then, take care. Bye. 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 Fuck you, Jace. Fuck you.
has a great beard, though. For for someone who probably has not had any access to beard oils in the in the uh, hex core, It's pretty good, then. it's probably not a wash for a bit. Who Actually, knows? right? There might be magic water in there. <laughs> magic Magic water just for water. kids. <laughs> magic water. <laughs> Just Imagine beard water. Just like, you know, they, they sprayed it from time to time. the Just only to make sure it's good. <laughs> the only thing they've got in that hex court is like a, a weird traveling barber. He keeps coming and, and putting <laughs> a just beard oil in his head and going. <laughs> but it's like it's like the Bugs Bunny Bob from Seville thing was just like, no no yeah no yeah no 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 yeah done done or 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 better better theory uh as they were floating around with little echo and hamburger because i i refused to let them go uh they just accidentally licked it sometimes just floating around and then just floating Just, just licking, licking his beard. licking the beard And, and, you know, Heimerdinger probably licks himself, right? Because he, exactly yeah, he's just yeah so helping it's it's a fellow he he countryman. might have he might have told that because you know they were floating around and it wasn't clear like where is what and then and he might have told that he was licking himself do you normally go up to people and lick their beard Yeah. I don't know. I don't, but like, maybe you don't it's just know too hard. you don't know <laughs> <laughs> you not know sometimes you you gotta help out a bro It's like, bro, when you come out of the, the, the core, you got look, you got look sharp. Look, you gotta look let sure me, yeah let me help you, bro, bro. Let me help you, bro, bro. bro. I help you, bro, 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 b